okay so this is actually an experiment of couple tanks and we have got two tanks one tank is over here and another tank is over there we are not going to use the second tank we are going to only use the first tank in our experiment this is called a rotor meter and this is used to measure the flow rate and as you can see it's written liters per minute so the unit for this one is liters per minute so it's going to measure volume flow rate in liters per minute now this is the red thing and as you can see there is an arrow over here and it's giving you this this one is giving you the height in terms of voltage okay and the the ratio of height and voltage is actually 28.8 now this is actually a sensor which is actually a flow sensor and it's going to give you the water flow rate in terms of voltage although this is also telling us the water flow rate but this is also going to give us water flow rate if we want it in terms of voltage now this is you can see this is a pump and the arrow is going inside so this means that it needs voltage and this we are going to supply voltage to this pump using our PID controller which we are going to discuss afterwards so this needs voltage and this is actually a pump and as you can see this all thing is blue this blue thing is actually water and there is actually a valve the valve is over here so you can adjust the flow of valve if for example we are at 3 this means it's more open if we are at 0 this means it's fully closed if we are at 5 this means it's fully open now these two valves we are not using this valve is for transfer of liquid from this side to the other tank anyway we have closed it and we are not using this valve because there is no water over here okay students remember that everything is in terms of voltage okay so the height which we are going to measure from here is in terms of voltage so this the uh, the output of this height is actually in terms of voltage and the input to the pump is again in terms of voltage so in this on this board we do not have like the flow rate or the height we have everything in terms of voltage and this is very important thing now this is actually v in so we are going we can get, give v in which is the reference input from here okay and uh, over here we have got a summation block you can add or subtract the signal from this block so this is again a summation block this is again a summation block we are going to use this summation block and over here we have got a PID controller this is proportional this one is integral and this one is derivative we are not going to use derivative anyway so we are going to use proportional and integral so you can set the values of KP by if I place it over here the value of KP is 1 if I move it to the other side the value of KP is 10 similarly if I place it over here at 1 KP, KI is 1 so you can set KI 1 2 3 4 up to KI 10 okay so this is actually the tank and this Q is actually Q in this this portion is input and this portion is output and this is actually the height and this Q bar Q bar they are equal because it's in the steady state so these two Q are going to be equal and this height is going to be a certain value now what we are going to do we will give a step input which we are going to discuss afterwards this is small Q in is actually a variation in the flow rate which we are going to have due to a step input and because of that we are going to have this height change in height and we are going to have this change in output flow rate as well now remember that we discussed it before that everything is in terms of voltage so height and voltage are related by this relation where V is in volts and H is actually in millimeters okay now this is this a over tau s plus 1 is actually the open loop transfer function where v in is actually the voltage and this v in is going to change this qi this small qi remember we are going to set this qi in terms of voltage and because of that there is going to be v out which is again the output voltage and you are going to get a graph something like this this v in and v out has no relation in between them because this V in is actually the voltage to the pump and this V out is the voltage of the uh, of the uh, sensor so the pump voltage and the sensor voltage they are not related with each other they have no relation now how to build up the relation to build up the relation you need the feedback now this is the closed loop transfer function and now we, this is the reference voltage input and reference voltage input is going to be in terms of is going to depict the height or is going to uh, give you the height in terms of voltage 
now this is again V out it's again telling you the height and this height and height are subtracted together and you are going to get the error over here so you will get the error and this is actually our controller which is GC now this controller can be a proportional controller or it can be a proportional integral controller so this is again your plant which is actually over here we have discussed about it over here and this is actually the closed loop transfer function now if you have for example only proportional controller over here then you can reduce this block diagram to this one so you have got a v reference over here and v out over here and this whole thing is reduced to this one and when you reduce it to this one you will get new parameters like a prime and tau prime so they are not equal to a and tau you will get a prime and tau prime and from this and from this block diagram you are going to do the experiment and you will get a graph something like this and from this graph you are going to find out the values of a prime and tau prime you know it from your theory and once you have got the values of a prime and tau prime you can calculate the values of a and tau okay after getting the values of a and tau what you will do you will add integral in addition to proportional controller over here and when you will add integral with in addition to proportional you are going to get some output which is going to be like an under damp system so it's going to be oscillatory type okay as it was discussed before everything is in terms of voltage okay so we are going to give input voltage of 5.5 volts as you can see it over here right now the tank is empty because the controller is not active now I am going to turn this one on this proportional controller on the pro integral is off and uh, this we are going to wait until it reaches to the steady state remember that we haven't this is one volt okay you can measure it from the voltmeter as well this is one volt and we are going to give one volt input over here as the system is going to reach to the steady state value right now it's not as a steady state and i'm going to come you back i'll i will come to you back after it reaches to the steady state as you can see over here the system has reached to the steady state this means it's not increasing nor decreasing this height is called h bar and this flow rate which you which you are seeing over here is q bar now we will give the step input to the system which is over here we will place this jumper wire inside and remember this one will not be considered now whatever we will see after placing the step input will be considered and uh, remember that this right now the kp is 1 the value of kp is 1 ki is 0 uh, and uh, after we give the step input we are going to see the response on the screen over there The step input has been applied and you can see that the height is the water level height is rising now this height is actually this height is actually h capital h plus a small h so remember the initial height we are not going to consider we will consider only this small height and the relation between relationship between height and voltage is 28.8 volts so whatever height you are going to get over here you will see that height in terms of voltage with the relation h equals to 28.8 volts now this is the response of the this is the response which we are getting on lab view and this is the instrument which is national instruments and this is actually uh, a, a, a device which is going to plot this this on lab view so we are getting a step input response on lab view okay now this is the final value after steady, uh, after adding the step and you can see that there is no variation no there is no up and down and over here on this side we can see the uh, the plot on the lab view and uh, this is the response uh, of the proportional controller now we are done with the proportional controller now this is a new experiment which is the proportional integral controller so we have turned both proportional and integral on and uh, 
we have turned both proportional integral on and now we have these to the steady state value the value of kp is 7 and the value of ki is taken as 1 and now we are going to apply a step input voltage to see the response of the pi controller remember that we are not going to consider this thing we are going to consider whatever we are going to see after this and right now it's approximately 80 so we know that the height is actually 28.8 height is actually 28.8 V so it should reach like 80 plus 28.8 which is like 108.8 so now we will add a step input a step input has been applied and the height is now going to ri rise and this will be this this height is going to behave like in oscillation so it will oscillate the height is going to increase and then decrease and then increase and then decrease and we will see the same type of response in the lab view as well so if you see the lab view this is the real time data so the high this is height versus time so on the x axis we have time and on the y axis we have got height so height versus time Yes, and remember that this height is actually in terms of voltage, okay, and we know that the relationship between height and voltage is 28.8. As you can see now that this has reached to the final value and it's not increasing or decreasing. Now this data for proportional controller and proportional integral controller will be provided to you and you will have to, the you will have to follow the instructions given in your lab project.